imagine having the freshest ingredients at your fingertips without stepping into the grocery store how good is that i've always wanted the connection between me growing my own vegetables and uh, cooking and nourishing food into my kitchen so um, it's starting to happen right now join me as i show you how to transform all these uh, green vegetables from the garden into simple budget friendly meals for the sabbath incorporating proper these a few ingredients into the meals so i really wanted to share with you how i prepare for the sabbath with what i already have in the house it's after work and uh, it's past two time is ticking i really want to prepare supper i'm going to use um freezer meal for supper i really want to come up with breakfast for uh, sabbath morning and lunch we'll prepare sabbath supper when we come back so here's what i'm gonna do um i've made a meal plan already i'm gonna share with you tips and tricks on how i do it in a um, jiffy so the first thing i got my ingredients i will chop all the necessary vegetables since i know what i'm going to cook it's really good to have a meal plan and to know the ingredients that you're going to incorporate into the meals it's very good to know the type of ingredients to use in a certain dish so that you don't just take anything and throw into the meal so join me as i show you as i show you tips and tricks to do it fast and to come up with uh, meals uh, with what you have in the house to incorporate all the necessary ingredients coming up with a budget friendly meal because we don't want to break the bank preparing food to impress our church members yeah you know how it is so yeah hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm sharing with you how i prepare for the sabbath of course it's friday three o'clock I only have one and a half hour to prepare my food for evening and tomorrow morning breakfast, lunch. That's what we do. So I'm going to share with you how to prep these simple meals, budget friendly meals. And also guys, Sabbath is a special day of reflection and resting. So rice is going to be our main ingredient here. Yeah? We are going to have rice this evening and again for lunch. So let's see how I'm going to do it because it's going to be interesting. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. So let's just jump into it before the hours of Sabbath begin.
already um chopped my cabbage just to fry it and salt it uh and chicken our food is a new chicken and then uh tomorrow morning we are going to have bread peanut butter and cereal so the only thing that we need to do is to is to boil water and put it in our flask for our cereal and tea that's for tomorrow morning then lunch that's where we are going to have rice our fried rice with peas and then um egg potato salad and soup that's what we are going to do so let's fry our cabbage for this evening so hot but I, I'm done preparing vegetables like cabbages for the evening I'm going to use the same pan since I don't want to make all the dishes dirty to prepare my soup for tomorrow lunch so the reason why I'm doing rice uh, soup and salad for tomorrow I've got kids and my kids nowadays they are loving to eat rice in the afternoon especially uh, when it's Sabbath people are sharing their food they love to eat rice so that's why this sabbath we are going with rice but before i use it to bake a lot but uh, let's just do what our kids love So already I'm one hour into uh, Sabbath preparation. I'm almost done. 
the only thing that is left is, is to boil water into the flask and to uh, reheat our freezer meal so it's a leftover this is chicken that was left a few days ago so i decided to reuse it and uh, when it comes to leftovers guys it really saves me so this is what we are going to have this evening
stage and I'm happy. The only thing that is left is boiling water only and do the dishes and the flow. Otherwise, that's all I did today. And I'm really, really happy. So what I'm going to do for my rice, my soup, not to go bed easily, I'm going to refrigerate all those things. And then tomorrow, when it's time to go to church, I will take my things out from the fridge. And then we'll go to church. Around 12 o'clock, we'll be done with the word of God. And then we'll start sharing eating our food which is very healthy nutritious there's no reason to complicate it so i'm really happy to share all these things to you right now allow me to do all the dishes and then our my kids will help me do the floor so guys that's all i want you to subscribe and uh, let me know how you prepare your sabbath what's your favorite um uh, what's your favorite meal and everything so yeah So that's all about preparing the Sabbath. We don't need to complicate our stomach with so many kinds of food in one go. We will give our system a heavy load to digest and you know what? It all leads to unstable conditions and everything. Just need a proper simple meal for the Sabbath and I'm really really happy that we have done it. Our house is clean. Now I think the sun is already setting. 
we need to go and start eating our supper and then guys see you in our next in uh, video i will make sure that i will uh, show you the other sabbath preparation where we're gonna bake and prepare all sorts of kind of things yeah 